Hello everybody, this is Little Mac, also known as your favorite video game character from Punch-Out! and Super Smash Bros. And welcome back to another video here on the channel. Now, today's video, I'm going to show you how to add OPL to uh, your PS2 modified uh, frame rate boot memory card. So, what you would need for this um, is you need a USB uh, flash drive that you're gonna, uh, that you're going to need to... Uh, to browse your files uh, to your um, PS2 uh, free me uh, memory card that is modified. Um, but first, before I say something else, uh, if you haven't installed Freemic Boot, uh, or if you don't know what the Freemic Boot is, you want to check out my other video tutorial on how to uh, uh, install Freemic Boot on your uh, PS2 console. <coughs> so. So yeah, like I just said, you would need a USB fla uh, USB flash drive that you're gonna need to copy the files or the programs to your uh, modified PS2 uh, free MacBook memory card. You're also gonna need a modified PS2 uh, memory card right here, and you're gonna need your PlayStation 2 console and your PlayStation 2 controller that you're gonna need to control uh, something or whatever you're doing and that is pretty much it and uh, now what we're gonna do next right now is we're gonna jump straight to my PC and we're gonna and I'm going to show you guys what you need to do from there so let's jump straight to my PC right now all right here we are at my PC so what you want to do right now is plug in your USB flash drive which I'm gonna do right now and yes, this is the same USB flash drive I used in my last video to um, to install on how to install Freemic Boot. So again, if you don't have uh, Freemic Boot installed on your PS2, or you don't know what the Freemic Boot uh, program is, you want to check out my other video to, uh, tutorial of uh, what that is and um, and uh, how to install Freemic Boot on your PS on your PS2 console. Alright, so what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and open up the file explorer and go to my USB because I remember a long time ago when I plugged in my uh, USB flash drive to my uh, laptop here, it automatically uh, opens up the uh, the USB that I have on my uh, USB flash drive, like my USB stuff here. So. So I don't I don't know why it's not doing that anymore. So that's why I had to manually uh, open it up, um, open up the file explorer, and then click on my USB so that it will show up uh, the stuff that I have on my USB flash drive. So and yes, and I did uh, say that uh, in my last video, and I still have all the files and folders uh, I have in my USB flash drive here. So I do have. Uh, yes, so I do have a lot of stuff on my USB flash drive, and again, in the last video, I just I just said uh, I said before, um, um, before you are going to uh, copy uh, something onto your USB flash drive, you want to make sure that uh, your USB flash drive is in the FAT32 uh, file system. So the way how to check that is that you want to right click on your USB. And then go to properties, and just to make sure that it should be, uh, it should set uh, that the file system is FAT32. If it's not in the FAT32, what you gotta do is right-click on your USB flash drive, click on Format, and then go to File System and uh, and choose the FAT32 file system one. If it's not in the uh, FAT32 or um, Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, if it, if you don't have, if your USB flash drive doesn't have uh, the option for you to format it to the FAT32 normally, um, <coughs> uh, there's another way you can uh, format it to the FAT32 a partition of your USB flash drive. It's uh, it's this program. It's called Elmi Partition Assistant uh, Standard Edition 8.7. <laughs> 
and that program will allow uh, allow you to format your USB flash drive in the FAT32 file system. And I did a video a long time ago um, on how to um, on how to uh, format a USB flash drive to uh, uh, to the FAT32 uh, file system. So I'll have that link uh, in this. Um, I'll have that YouTube video link uh, in the description below of this video. But once you have um, once you have your USB flash drive. Uh, formatted to the FAT32 file system on your USB flash drive. Go ahead and open up Google Chrome. <clears throat> and then, what you want to do next is uh, type in uh, PS2 OPL. And then hit enter on your keyboard. And now you want to scroll down and uh, until you find this link right here. Where it says open PS2 loader OPL forum uh, PS2 dash home dot com. So you want to click on that link. Next, you want to do is go to the downloads uh, option right here and then go down to OPL version 0 0.9.3 stable. Click on that. And I'll also uh, have the link, uh, and I'll also have this link in the description below as well. And now, uh, once you are on here, uh, you want to go ahead and scroll down, and uh, until you find something, until you find this OPL version 0 0.9.3, in uh, with all of the uh, all of the um, the controls that are uh, that are enabled, and also this is also the latest version one. So you want to have this, and you want this one right here, not this one. Not the all classic one, just the regular one, like the first link right here, or the first uh, package, or the first uh, downloads, or whatever it is. So, um, and you can uh, you can look at this uh, if you want to, just to like uh, if you want to take a look at uh, what um, what do they have, like what type of do they have, and the uh, description for all of these types uh, on how to work. But but yeah, it's. it's you can um, look at that if you want, but for right now, we're going to go ahead and uh, click on this one to download it, and it's going to start downloading the files for you. Now, the the downloads will come in a uh, WinWar uh, zip archive, and uh, and once it's uh, done downloading, or once it's already uh, just or once it just downloaded, you want to click on the files that you have downloaded. And it will open up the WinWar archive for you. And yes, this is the folder that we're going to uh, extract it to our USB uh, flash drive. And uh, so now we can just exit out this um, this website uh, right now. And now we're going to open up the file. <coughs> we're going to open up the file Explorer, and we're going to go to our USB um, flash drive. And now. Uh, and now go ahead and open back up the WinWar archive. And now what we want to do is extract this folder to our root directory of our USB flash drive. So you yeah, so um, just select that or just yeah, just uh, click on that folder and then click on extract to. And now uh, click on your uh, USB uh, flash drive that you're going to extract it to the root directory of your USB flash drive. Click on that and then click OK. And now it extracted uh, really quickly, so now that is all done. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, delete the. Wait, where was that before? Actually, I'm just gonna check that one later. But for right now, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete the files that I already uh, deleted because I don't need it anymore. Now let's go back to our USB flash drive. And now we have the folder that we just extracted to the uh, to the root directory of your of uh, I mean um, now we have the folders that we uh, we have the we have a folder uh, that we just do, uh, extracted to the root directory of our USB flash drive. And now what we can do from there right now, or what we can do from here right now, we can just close this out and then. And yes, this is the important part. You're gonna have to you have to eject your USB flash drive from your PC first before you unplug it from your uh, laptop.
that is really important if you just unplug it from your uh, laptop uh, I'm sorry uh, if you just um, unplug your USB flash drive from your laptop it will corrupt your data and and your data will be lost so it's really important you have to eject your USB flash drive from your uh, PC first and then you can unplug it so I'm gonna unplug it now and now uh, now that uh, we're done let's head straight to my PC I mean not my PC let's head straight to my PS2 right now so I'll see you guys there alright here we are at my PlayStation 2 console and uh, right now uh, what you want to do uh, next is you want to go ahead and plug your USB flash drive to your PS2 which I'm going to do right now alright I got my USB flash drive plugged in and this is my PS2 console and now I'm going to turn on my TV okay my TV is on and now and uh, also you want to make sure that you have your modified uh, PS2 memory card uh, plugged in and I already have it plugged in and now I'm going to turn on my PS2 and grab my PS2 controller Okay. All right, so here we are in the uh, free McBo uh, free McBoot uh, menu screen. Uh, I'm gonna have to put my camera down. So I'm gonna set it up right here. Hopefully it doesn't fall down. All right, so it seems like it's not falling down at this time. So I'm gonna pick up my PS2 controller again. And now what you wanna do? Uh, Right here, uh, you want to go to Ulaunch Elf, and Ulaunch Elf is a um, program. Oh, I'm sorry. Ulaunch Elf is a uh, uh, it's a homebrew program where you browse your file system, and that is how Ulaunch Elf uh, basically works. So right now, uh, we are at the Ulaunch Elf uh, screen right here. You want to go ahead and press Circle to browse your files, and go down to Mass. And we're going to go to the folder that we extracted to our USB uh, device uh, before and that is OPO version 0.9.3 with all of the controls that, uh, that are enabled. So we're going to press circle on it. And now we're going to copy the opnps2ld.elf uh, file to our memory card. So we're going to press R1 and then press circle to copy it. And then press triangle twice and we're going to go to memory card 0. And memory, uh, memory card 0 is a uh, memory card slot 1 and memory card 1 is slot 2. So we're going to uh, select the uh, memory card 0 which is uh, memory card slot 1 and we're going to go down to boot folder. And now what we can do, uh, what we're going to do from here is we're going to press R1 and uh, we're going to press circle to paste the files to the uh, uh, memory card boot folder. Alright, so it's now successfully pasted, but we're not done yet. The next thing we're going to go to is uh, System Configurator uh, folder. Press circle on it, and we're going to go to Free McBoot Configurator.elf uh, file. So I'm going to go ahead and press circle to, uh, uh, to launch it and select buttons layout for the Free McBoot Configurator settings. I'm going to select uh, the X button. And now, we are here in the free McBoot configurator settings, so we're going to go down to configure OSD sys options and uh, yeah, so press X on it and and you can pick any uh, item number you want to put uh, for your uh, open PS2 loader, so mine is going to be at item number, uh, item number 6, so press X and then press X again and then you can name it whatever you want, I'm going to name it open PS2 loader so that's what I'm going to do, like that's what I'm doing it right now. Alright, I'm almost there. And once you are done, press OK by pressing X on your controller and go down to pass 1 and then press X to browse uh, and then press X again on the memory card 0 and go down to boots folder and go down to opnps 2 ldelf and press X. And now we have the pass one on the memory card zero column dash boots dash opn 
PS2 LD.EOF and we're going to go ahead and return to the uh, free MacBook configurator uh, settings and the uh, last thing you would need to do is you want to um, you want to uh, save the configurator settings to memory card zero if you don't save it it's not going to save the settings for you and you're going to have to do this every time so you want to make sure you save the configurator settings and once you're done you can uh, exit, uh, exit out of the free MacBook configurator settings and now it's going to launch back to the free MacBook of PS2 menu screen and here we are at the free MacBook of menu screen again and now we can go down and now we have open PS2 loader program on our free MacBook menu so uh, so we're going to go ahead and press X to launch the uh, Open PS2 Loader program. <coughs> and now here we are uh, at the Open PS2 uh, Loader program. So we're going to press X on uh, on settings, and we're gonna I'm going to change the I'm I'm going to yeah, I'm going to change some settings here. So I'm going to turn on the check USB game fragmentation, and I'm going to turn all of these on, which is USB device start mode, HDD uh, device start mode, sh yeah, HDD device start mode, HDD stands for hard disk drive, Ethernet device start mode, and application uh, application start mode, and I'm gonna select uh, USB games as uh, as a default menu, and uh, press OK, and go down to display settings. I'm gonna turn on the display info page, and uh, turn on the enable cover art. Press OK, and I'm and I'm gonna now we can go ahead and save changes, saving the configurator settings or saving config. Now that the settings have uh, have saved, and now we press circle to look at the list of games here or whatever, and now we have full access to uh to these devices where you can uh, play PS2 games off of the USB flash drive. Uh, over the SMB connection, or or uh, uh, through the um, or off of an uh, internal hard drive uh, connected to the back of your PS2 uh, expansion bay, with the network adapter uh, that connects to it. All right, so that is how you uh, install or or add OPL to your free MacBook menu. So if you guys like this video, please like, favorite, and subscribe. Uh, otherwise, if you have any questions, leave a comment uh, below of this video and I will answer your questions as soon as possible. But uh, once again, I would like to say thank you all so much for watching. As always, please continue to stay well and stay from the coronavirus. And um, and yeah, so I'm Little Mac, also known as your favorite video game character from Punch-Out! and Super Smash Bros. I'll see you guys in the next video and uh, peace out everybody.